Are you ready to transform your normal e-commerce business into one that experiences exponential growth year after year using online advertising? If so, this show is for you. Me and my guests will show you how you too can grow your e-commerce business to seven or even eight figures so you can go on more luxurious vacations, spoil yourself and your family, say yes to more opportunities and become financially free so you never have to worry about money again. Welcome to the e-commerce performance marketing show. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the Econ Performance Marketing Show. We are nearing the end of 2020 and I don't know about you, but I am ready. I am ready for 2021. 2020 has been really good uh, you know, for my companies and I'm very grateful for that. But I know there's a lot of people out there that have really been affected significantly by 2020 and everything has happened here in 2020. And if that's you and you're listening or watching this, then hang in there. Just around the corner, we've got a brand new year, brand new start. Uh, stay positive, stay optimistic, and just put the work in every single day and you'll get over whatever challenges you face here in 2020. So in this episode, I'm going to go over uh, a few trends that I've researched that I've found that have happened here in 2020. And I'm going to talk about how you can prep for 2021. Because if you're watching and listening to the show, I really want to make sure that uh, I help you have the best 2021 ever in your business. Um, and this show is just a tip of the iceberg. If you really, really want my help, what you need to do is you need to go to arm5formula.com and apply to work with me directly over 12 months in my Arm5 Formula Accelerator, which I'll tell you more about at the end of the episode. So here are some trends here in 2020. So for one, digital traffic rose an average of 36% across every sector, according to a traffic analytics study by digital marketing software company, SEM Rush. So that tells you that right now people are online more than ever and that makes sense because here in 2020 unfortunately we've been stuck at home uh, we've been stuck at home and we've been spending a lot more time at home we've been spending a lot more time on our computers or on our devices and so that's why you know traffic has been spiking because people are not out and about you know going to school or work uh, or out you know just to enjoy themselves instead they're spending a lot of time at home you know, on their devices. Uh, so that's good. You know, it's good if you're in business online, if you're in e-commerce, uh, because that means that there's even more traffic to be had online that you can turn into leads and customers for your brand. Also, 70% of all e-commerce site visits came from mobile traffic. Now, mobile traffic has been a big part of every business for the past few years. Uh, arguably, it's been around 50% or so uh, mobile traffic for every single business online today over the past several years. But this year, it's spiked. It's now at 70%. That's huge. That just tells you that there is a ton of people right now visiting your website from a mobile device. And so you need to really work on your mobile experience and how you are catering to mobile users coming to your site. You also want to really optimize your mobile site for conversions, making it as easy and seamless as possible. You need to go through it yourself uh, and really critique uh, the process, your experience. This way you can really optimize and improve the mobile experience that you're providing to people when they come to your site from mobile devices. And you cannot neglect this. If you are right now, you need to stop doing that because right now you are missing out on some massive opportunities because as I just mentioned, 70% of traffic to sites here in 2020 are coming from mobile. So you're missing out on a lot of opportunities if you're neglecting it. So get on it right away. Also, 30% uh, of brands spend an average of $1,000 monthly on advertising. Uh, also, larger brands were initially between 150,000 to more than 1 million. However, because of what's happened here in 2020, most of those budgets were cut uh, because of the pandemic and that resulted in lower ad costs because there's less competition. Uh, so basically the bottom line here is that it's become uh, even more viable to advertise online on Facebook or on Google or other online advertising channels. Uh, so that tells you that there's a massive opportunity here to advertise. Um, you should be advertising regardless whether this has happened or not because advertising traffic is arguably the best traffic that you can get to your business because it's controllable and is also scalable fairly instantly so this way you can grow your business very very fast once the numbers are all dialed in however if you haven't been doing online advertising you really have no excuse now at this point especially with online advertising cost 
being lower than normal uh, here in 2020 because of what's happened. So this gives you essentially a uh, another opportunity to jump in and to start advertising and with lower risk because of the fact that you can get more bang for your buck when you when it comes to advertising on popular uh, online advertising channels like Facebook, like Google, uh, like Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn, you name it, whatever your brand really needs, wherever your market's at. Uh, so you should definitely do that. You should definitely be taking advantage of online advertising. This way you can grow your business and you can scale it you know, very fast once you have the numbers 100% dialed in. So that's gonna bring me to my next point. So we're about to end 2020 and right now you're probably just scrambling to push hard and close out 2020 on a high note. Uh, so this way you can have the best possible 2020 uh, that you can have. And that's awesome. However, you don't want to neglect 2021, and I'm sure you know that as well. 2021 is just around the corner here in a few weeks. We're going to be uh, turning the new year. We're going to be uh, celebrating 2021, and it's going to be an odd celebration because it's not going to be quite the celebration that we're used to since, you know, New Year's Eve. Not a lot's going to be open. But anyway, all we can do is make the best of it. And how we can make the best of 2021 is by really reviewing our businesses and really reviewing where we're at with our businesses. And how you can do that is with a SWOT analysis. Now, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. Google SWOT analysis. Now, I'll tell you what it is though. It is a analytics exercise that you can go through to really review your business and where you're at with your business. Uh, it stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, and trends. And when you go through this exercise, you're essentially just looking at your business. What are your business strengths? What are your business's weaknesses? What are your business's opportunities? Uh, what are your business's and your market's trends? And what are your uh, business's threats? And it could be internal or external. And you really just wanna brain dump on this. You wanna get away from the computer. You wanna get away from any distractions. You even wanna tell your family and your loved ones and your friends, hey, leave me alone for a little bit. I need to get this done. And just focus, focus on really brain dumping into those five categories into a SWOT analysis that you can do in a Google Doc or you can find a template online. So this way you can really review what you need to work on uh, right away in 2021 to really be able to have the best possible 2021 uh, in your business. And uh, if you need some help with this, one thing that I would recommend you do is, you know, go through that SWOT analysis and really, you know, document strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats and trends, but then use uh, this uh, daily priority sheet, which I'll put a link to it below this episode. And if you're listening to this episode, head over to uh, cboexcel.com, go to the blog, find uh, the, um, the blog post for this specific episode. And right below the uh, video for this episode, you'll see this link. Uh, this way you can grab it. Or you can even go to my Instagram, uh, Joshua A. Marsden. Uh, go to my Instagram, click on the link in my profile, and you'll see there's a number of free resources. One of them is uh, the daily priority uh, sh sheet, which allows you to really prioritize everything that you could possibly be working on uh, day to day, week to week in your business. And you can use a sheet to really be able to uh, put in there everything that you think that you could or should be working on from that SWOT analysis going into 2021. And then you just go through uh, the different uh, measurements uh, in the uh, Google Sheet to really identify uh, how you score on those different measurements tied back to uh, the item that you've listed in the uh, Google Sheet. And then the Google Sheet, what it's going to do is it's actually going to auto-calculate uh, what the priority level is of that specific item that you've put into the uh, Google Sheet. So this way, you're not relying on your own opinion. You're not relying on anything like that. Instead, what you're doing is you're relying on logic. Uh, you're going through it logically and letting uh, the Google Sheet calculation dictate what the order of priority should be out of everything that you've listed in that sheet from the SWOT analysis. And then once you've done that, then you're going to identify, okay, so based off of what I've identified in my business, based off of what I've uh, also graded in regards to all the items that I could, could be working on in my business, here are my top priorities and then you just get to work at that point okay um, now i also recommend that you have a specific documented plan uh, for the year for the month and so what i'm going to share with you is i'm going to share with you um, what i use in my business and i've been using this for probably about two plus years easily now 
And uh, I got this from a great book that I definitely recommend. And this is a great read over the holidays that can really prime you for an incredible 2021. And that's Traction uh, by Gino Wickman. Now, Traction by Gino Wickman is essentially a, uh, a book on how to conduct business um, and, what to f and how to run your business, essentially, how to organize your business, how to grow your business, what to focus on in your business. It's an awesome book, highly recommended. I actually have checked out a number of books by uh, Gino Wickman, uh, but this is an incredible book and it's definitely the best place to start. And um, in this book, they have a two-page uh, business plan. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what that is this way you can see an example for an e-com property that uh, we run and we co-own. Uh, so this way you can see what I'm talking about here, especially if you're watching this via video. Now, if you're not, I'll do my best to really explain this via audio. So this way you can really get a visual picture of how this works. Um, but all you have to do to really find this is uh, Google VTO by EOS. If you Google that, you'll track it down. Or it's also called Vision Traction Organizer. Vision Traction Organizer. And this is gonna give you that two-page plan. It's 100% free to download and start using. But this way you have focus. Uh, you have a focus plan to start 2021 that's based on the SWAT, based on your priorities, based on the trends. And you could just hit the ground running because that's the goal whenever you're planning. Uh, you want to be able to hit the ground running and 2021 is going to be your year and it can be your year your year excuse me if you plan it ahead of time and you can do that by taking action from this episode so let me go ahead let me take you over to uh, an example here of the vto that i use specifically for december in a e-com property that i co-own all right guys so what you're seeing here on screen is the vision traction organizer as i mentioned before and it's a two-page business plan document following the eos model which is introduced to you in this book traction that i just uh, mentioned a, a little while ago and it's a very detailed two-page plan but it's also very concise so it's very easy to really go through this on a monthly basis to be able to plan month to month uh, throughout the entire year and I definitely recommend that you take action, take action from this and really start using this right away for 2021. Now, what it covers, as you can see here on screen, is it covers what are your company's core values? What's your company's core focus? Uh, what's your company's 10-year target? Or it could be less even. Uh, what's your marketing strategy? You know, how can you define that? Who's your target market? What are your three uniques that define you and your brand uh, that, that also differentiate you and your marketing from other competitors out there? Uh, what's your proven process and what's your guarantee you know, in your brand and in the value and the impact that you provide as well through your products or your services? And then finally, what's your one year picture? Uh, what does it look like? Um, so that's all on page one. Very concise, very simple, but also just extremely beneficial to be super clear on all of those different uh, topics and items uh, in your business. Now on page two, it goes over like, what are your goals for the month? What are your rocks? Or, you know, what do you really need to accomplish to accomplish your goals, your outcome goals, your metric goals? Um, and then what are the issues in your business uh, that you need to pay attention to, that you really need to work on? Um, and this is going to be super valuable to document after you've gone through that SWOT analysis and you've really documented everything and you've documented what your weaknesses or your opportunities are you know in your business and then you really figure out what are the priorities based on that now i could tell you you know based off my own experience that if uh, your marketing isn't really working well and consistently and you're not seeing consistent sales and you're not seeing consistent growth or even exponential growth uh, and it's very sporadic in regards to your company generating customers then you just need to work on your marketing and your sales. You need to get your paid advertising to work. This way you can get leads and customers coming in on a consistent basis profitably. And that's all you need to really work on because once you get that squared away, once you get that figured out, then you can scale that. And then you'll have other, other challenges, other problems, good problems uh, to be able to solve in your business. But if that's you, that's what you need to focus on. Now, if you're already you know, at a solid, uh, point in your business where you're seeing seven figure, you know, sales a year plus, then you have different, you know, problems at this point. You know, you need to maybe maximize your return, your ad spend. Uh, this way you can see more profit coming into your business. Uh, you can do that 
in a few different ways. You can decrease your cost to acquire you know, with the optimization of your advertising channels. Uh, you could optimize your conversion rates. This way you see uh, more gains from your current ad spend. Uh, you can also improve your follow-up uh, marketing, whether it's email, whether it's SMS, whether it's Facebook Messenger, whether it's direct mail even, uh, whether it's just retargeting ads. Uh, this way you're generating more sales revenue from uh, your customers, your hot audience uh, in your business. Um, you know, those, those are some examples of things that you can prioritize you know, based off of where you're at in your business and how much success that you've had in your business. But ultimately, you're the only one that really knows what you need to work on in your business and how you identify that is by taking action from this episode, really going through the SWOT analysis and then using this VTO or something similar, but feel free to use this, I highly recommend it. So this way you can have a focused plan for January 2021. This way when January 1st, or if you wanna take the first off, January 2nd comes in, you're ready, you're hitting the ground running, you're sprinting, you're focused, you're working hard every single day because you have a plan and you know exactly what you need to work on uh, to be able to have your best 2021 ever because you've identified what your weaknesses are and what your opportunities are and you've prioritized those as well. So take action from this episode. I'm gonna leave you with that because 2021 is in your hands and you can have the best year of your life in business and in your life in general if you put the work in and if you take action. So take action from this episode. Do the things that I just went over in this episode. This way you can have the best 2021 ever. Now, if you do want help with your marketing and your sales and you wanna get better performance uh, from your marketing and your advertising, uh, then I'd love to invite you into uh, my program. Now, it's an application uh, only program, so I do need to review your application, make sure you're a good fit, because I don't wanna waste your time. Uh, I wanna make sure you're a good fit, and also I, wanna, I don't wanna waste my time as well, because I put a lot of effort and a lot of attention into everybody in my accelerator. Uh, but if you're not quite at 100,000 in sales per month, uh, then I definitely recommend that you go and check out my ARM5 Formula Accelerator at arm5formula.com. And Or if you're listening to this, uh, just go ahead and text ARM5, A-R-M-5, to 938-444-8045, okay? And if you do that, uh, what you'll do is you'll, you'll be able to apply uh, for my program and if you are accepted into the program and this will all be done over the phone like after I see your application I review it let's just say that you know your application checks out uh, then you'll be able to speak with me directly uh, or to a rep um, on my team and uh, we'll find a little bit more about your company a little bit more about you and just just to make sure that uh, you're vetted properly and then if you are a great fit for coming into my program and uh, growing your business exponentially very fast, because that's what we do in the accelerator, uh, then we will invite you into the program and you can join the program and you can start working with me right away and you'll be working with me for 12 months. So you could work with me throughout the entire uh, 2021 year. Uh, so it's an incredible opportunity. It's not available to everybody, but if you are a driven uh, e-commerce business owner and you need help with your marketing and advertising performance, uh, maybe you just don't have the knowledge, maybe you just don't have um, you don't know what's working, what isn't in your business. Uh, maybe you just uh, really want to see similar results to what we've achieved uh, with my agency and the accelerator with my ARM5 formula and you want to see those types of results in your business. Whatever the case may be, I definitely invite you to apply. So go ahead and go to www.arm5formula.com or if you're listening to this and you just want to pop a text, go ahead and do so. Shoot me a text, ARM5, A-R-M-5, and uh, shoot that keyword to 938-444-8045 and I'll take you through the application process over text. So thank you so much for watching this episode or listening to it if you're listening to it from uh, your phone or your car. Uh, again, as I've always said and as I'm emphasizing heavily in this episode, and I'm only doing it because I want you to have the best 2021 of your life, then go take action. Go take action right away. Take action on all the action items from this episode. This way you have the best 2021 ever. Thank you for tuning in to the e-commerce performance marketing show. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment with a timestamp of your favorite part and share it with a friend. Until our next episode, here's to you and the success of your e-commerce business.